Greetings, my fellow ghouls, goblins, and ghosts. I welcome you to my very first YouTube short. And today, I wanted to show you guys something really cool. It's a um, it's an old school Fangoria magazine. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video that I did, my brother um, owns a uh, comics and collectibles store in South, uh, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and he's always getting, like, these really cool, like, interesting, like, you know, mag, like, old magazine issues and things like that, old comic book issues, um, posters, like, um, he brought me home, like, this really cool, um, original, like, promotional poster for Reanimator that I'm gonna be putting in my new house, which I'm really excited about, but I'll talk about that in another video. Today, I wanted to show you, um, an issue of Fangoria that's actually from the 80s. I think it's from 1987 or 88. It's um, when Halloween 4 was about to come out. Notice the um, front of the issue is uh, for Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. I love the tagline right here. Long time, no kill. Um, it's also before... Uh, when Child's Play, the first Child's Play, uh, was coming out, so, uh, that's pretty awesome, and I wanted to, uh, show you guys, I was just gonna originally take pictures, but I figured pictures will not do this justice at all, so, um, without further ado, just wanted to show you guys our, uh, my brother's stamp, if you guys are ever in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the comic shop is House of Heroes, Comics and Collectibles. They mainly do, like, vintage collectibles and stuff like that. But they do have a really good horror selection. Um, this issue um, I have to actually be careful with because it's a little older. It's, um, I'm starting a uh, Fangoria collection with older issues, so I kind of have to be a little careful with this. A little careful. Um, love the, uh, look at that. Look at that ad on the back. Special makeup effects beginner's guide. Oh my god, I love this. I, mi I am actually, um, I miss getting magazines. I used to do it all the time when I was younger. Um, but look at that. That's actually in really good shape. Because this is um, from the 80s. It's, I believe it's from 1987. Um, I got to show you guys the fold-out poster. A lot of these had fold-out posters back in the day. And um, shout out to uh, Diana Prince, a.k.a. Darcy from The Last Drive-In. I think you're going to especially love this poster. And I fold it out. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Okay, um, I would love, as much as I would love to put this on my wall, I can't, I can't do it because it's attached to the cover and I do not want to ruin this. This is a gorgeous issue. Um, thought all my Halloween 3 lovers would get a kick out of that. But, um, take a look. Um, a lot of these were printed in black and white. Um, it's not all in black and white. There's color pages, too, but, um, I thought that was especially neat. Um, just looking at the, uh, articles and stuff in here, it's really, really fascinating. Um, that is from, that is from Stuart Gordon's Dolls, I believe, this photo. Um, love Stuart Gordon. Oh my gosh, look at this. Elvira... Freddy Krueger. Look at this. Look at these ads. Oh my god, Jason. Look at this. I Sorry, I am geeking out a lot right now. Um, but they did, um, they did, uh, movie polls back in the day, too. That, that, all kinds of stuff. Like, honestly, I wish I grew up in the 80s and was able to buy Fangoria magazines if my parents allowed me to have them. But uh, there's so much in here. Um, a lot of you, uh, you know, from 
are from the 80s, so you may remember this, you may not. This is the article right here for Halloween 4, um, talking about it. Look at the posters for it. I meant not posters up, pictures for it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. This this is just incredible. You know, I was born in 1994. So, um, seeing these uh, magazines from the 80s still in great condition is fantastic. I mean, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough for you guys. A little video short um, to show you guys this. I love these old Fangoria magazines. I have another one. Um, back when uh, Death Proof came out, when uh, th they did the Grindhouse films, uh, Planet Terror and Death Proof. But uh, these little articles are phenomenal. I mean, okay, this, before I uh, close out the video, I wanted to show you guys this article I found. Well, it's not an article. It looks like an ad. It's a Tom Savini ad. It says, now you can own 60 of Tom Savini's greatest effects wow i would have been all over that i would have been all over that that is so cool i my favorite thing is looking at the ads and my favorite thing about looking at these old magazines is you know it's kind of like stepping in like a time machine a little bit you know going back to the 80s and everything look oh my god it's nightmare on elm street part four Look at that! Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm obsessed. I love these. I love these. I love these, but um but yeah, um I don't know if my brother sells um cuz he has a lot of these old Fangoria magazines um that he actually got in his shop and uh they're they're in, you know, nice shape like this and He's got a bunch of cool covers like this with great articles in it. Um, I don't know if he's, you know, sells like, no, like ships and everything. I don't, but um, follow uh, his Instagram page at um, Punk Rock Hippie, I believe it is. And um, I believe he posted the covers for them on there. And um, I don't know how much he's selling for them, but, you know, if you wanted to shoot him a message and ask if you were interested in any of those other issues, this is just one of them. And um, he gave this to me because Halloween's one of my favorite horror franchises, and he gave this to me kind of like, like as a gift. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to show you guys how cool that was. I wanted to geek out a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever seen this issue of Fangoria, if, you know, you've ever, like, picked it up, read it back in the day, you know. But yeah, um, that's it for the short. Um, let me know if you guys like these, and I'll continue doing these little video shorts for you guys. Um, so, have a great day, you know, stay out of trouble, I love you, and pleasant screams.